The Odd Case of the Missing Black Hole We know from experience that each tree has its own set of roots. But what if we discovered a tree with no roots one day? It would be suspicious, or if you are an Among Us gamer, it would be SARS. Anyway, this is very similar to what happened to astronomers. In fact, they believe that supermassive black holes exist at the centers of nearly all large galaxies. Not unexpectedly, the most massive objects in a galaxy gravitate toward its center, which is the lowest point in the galaxy's gravitational potential. The majority of these black holes are quiescent, with only a few percent actively sucking material from the host galaxy inwards and producing jets and radio structures. However, there are numerous galaxy kinds. Is there a black hole in every form of galaxy? Probably, if we're talking about the most common shapes, such as elliptical and spiral. Astronomers were seeking for evidence of a black hole when they pointed their telescopes at the center of a galaxy in the Able 22561 cluster. However, they were unable to locate them. Where is it? Is it hiding? Follow me in this video to learn more about the mysterious case of the lost black hole. It should be there, but we can't seem to locate it. And we're not talking about a tiny object, we're talking about a supermassive black hole with a mass of roughly 10 billion sun masses. In comparison, the one at the center of our own galaxy has a mass of about 4 million solar masses. The crime scene is in Able 2261, a galaxy cluster about 3 billion light-years from Earth, in the direction of the Hercules constellation. Among the galaxies that comprise the cluster, one stands out as A2261 BCG, which dominates the group. It is a gigantic elliptical galaxy, the largest known kind of galaxy, with a tremendously stretched core that reaches 10.000 light-years in amplitude. For decades, scientists have discovered that a giant black hole lurks in the center of almost all large galaxies. These black holes are known as supermassive, to distinguish them from normal ones formed by the gravitational collapse of a single star. It is unknown how supermassive black holes are formed, they are most likely very ancient things, generated billions of years ago in galaxies from seeds of matter, such as enormous stars that existed in the early stages of the universe's development. These black holes then increased in size over time, attracting matter, in the form of stars and gas, that passed close to them. In certain circumstances, two galaxies collided, each with its own black hole, and the black holes in their centers combined to form an even larger one. Supermassive black holes are so well known that Muse's Matt Bellamy created a song about them. Here's an excerpt from the lyrics, glacier melting in the dead of night and the superstars sucked into the supermassive black hole. Anyway, in summary, it appeared logical that A2261 BCG, a supergalaxy with a diameter of 1 million light-years, or nearly 10 times that of our Milky Way, should have a supermassive black hole at its center. So the hunt to find him began. I'd like to ask you a question, how do you suppose astronomers seek for black holes? I mean, black holes are dark, we can't see them directly. Indeed, the search was made more difficult by the fact that we were seeking for an object that, by definition, does not produce any sort of radiation and thus is invisible. Even black holes, if they can't be captured in the act, leave traces. For example, stars in the neighborhood of a galactic black hole are traveling at high speeds around something that is, in fact, unseen, and by studying their movements, the presence of the black hole can be deduced. The galaxy A2261 BCG was thus studied with the Hubble Space Telescope in 2012, however the inquiry yielded no results. Or more precisely, the center core of the galaxy was unusually dilated, but there was no black hole. Indeed, the brightness of A2261 BCG's center reduced somewhat rather than growing, as it does in other galaxies. Again, the largest concentration of stars did not match with the galaxy's center but was moved by 2,000 light-years. That was, as previously said, in 2012. In the years afterwards, the two scientists and their colleagues have combed the galaxy for X-rays or radio waves from the missing black hole. Because, as matter approaches a black hole, it is driven to near-light speeds, heated to extremely high temperatures, 
and produces a final glow, practically an extreme cry for help, in the form of radio waves and X-rays. The radio examination of A2261 BCG revealed that there were some emissions from the core, but they were 50 million years old, as if the black hole had turned off or escaped at that time. So, where has nature hidden the equivalent of 10 billion suns? Before you find out the answer, please like or dislike the video so that we may continue to grow and make these videos better for you. One hypothesis is that the black hole is still present but has gone silent because it has momentarily ran out of food. Another intriguing theory is that the black hole was ejected from the galaxy entirely. In both circumstances, this would lead to a better understanding of the birth and evolution of galaxies. Proving the latter, in particular, could provide insight into some of the most violent and dynamic processes in the evolution of galaxies and the cosmos, about which astronomers have theorized but never seen a dance of titanic forces, and swirling worlds capable of flinging stars and planets across the void. It's a fascinating mystery. Perhaps the future James Webb Space Telescope will be able to shed some light on the situation. Webb will be the most powerful, complicated, and largest space telescope ever built and launched into orbit. It will radically alter our view of the cosmos. According to NASA's website, it is an orbiting infrared observatory that will complement and enhance Hubble Space Telescope findings by providing longer, wavelength coverage and considerably better sensitivity. Webb can gaze considerably closer to the beginning of time and hunt for the unobserved development of the first galaxies, as well as examine into dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are developing now, thanks to the longer wavelengths. Recent X-ray studies, however, have been undertaken by a group led by Kahan Gultikin of the University of Michigan, using the Chandra Space Telescope. Researchers discovered two odd clumps of materials in the galaxy's center, which turned out to be two smaller galaxies consumed by the main one. Nothing indicates the presence of a gigantic black hole. The odd properties of A2261 BCG point to a scenario in which it collided with another galaxy and its black holes combined. This would have been one of the most explosive and energetic events in the universe's history. According to NASA, a black hole merging would look like this, many signs point to this reconstruction, the dance, between the two black holes before merging could explain A2261 BCG's enlarged core, the scarcity of stars in the center, and the fact that the brightest area is not exactly in half. It remains to be seen why the supermassive black hole has not been discovered. And there are two hypotheses, the first is that he is still alive, but he is very quiet, because he devoured everything he could and there is nothing left that can release a final cry, similar to a serial murderer who has run out of victims. In this situation, we might notice it sooner or later. Meanwhile, a thorough description of how the merger of two supermassive black holes may reshape the galaxy into what astronomers discovered was released. The abstract of Imran Nassim's paper, Formation of the Largest Galactic Cores Through Binary Scouring and Gravitational Wave Recoil States. In this paper, we run a suite of dry galaxy merger simulations to explore three different scenarios for central core formation in massive, elliptical galaxies, binary scouring, tidal deposition and gravitational wave-induced recoil. We discover that the enormous surface brightness core of A2261 BCG can only be explained by a combination of a major merger that forms a small core through binary scouring, followed by the following GW recoil of its SMBH, which acts to grow the core size. We demonstrate that the same model may also account for the bright knots found in the core region of A2261 BCG. So, while the unusual case of the missing black hole has yet to be solved, we can say that we have at least a lead, or perhaps a slew of plausible answers to the question, where in the world has nature parked the equivalent of 10 billion suns? Nature is usually a little bit more creative and complicated than we believe it is, so we must work hard to find answers to our problems. But this is not a terrible thing, it motivates us to do better and learn more about our universe. Thanks for watching everyone. Did you like the video? Do you believe our black hole is having a game of hide and seek? Please let us know in the comments and see you on the channel again soon.